Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Tisha. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing well. So this video I'm very excited to do. I've been working on it for a little bit and then it just keeps getting pushed by all the things we've been talking about here in the community, but um, it gave me even more time to play with these products and give you some of my first impressions. So we are talking about Lush and quick little backstory. Two of my very sweet subscribers here have sent me a few products from Lush. I had mentioned in the video, I'm not sure when, that I had never tried the brand because I hadn't. Um, where I'm from, we have a very small mall. I was very lucky to have a Bath & Body Works and pretty much everything else that went in there had left. And so we didn't have those stores local to me. Um, and then the, the the big, big city near me, first of all, wasn't a very safe place. Um, you know, I remember like uh, some of my uncles and things telling me in my 20s, like, don't go there by yourself. And it was one of those things I love to do. I love to go shopping by myself because you know, being plus size, like I didn't get to go shopping with my friends and we shopped at the same places. So I was a very independent girl. I would make a day trip and go shopping and going to Chicago was no big deal for me. And then at some point it just became like not the safest thing to do on your own. So those are the kind of places I could have found Lush, but it never crossed my path. Um, and then, like I said, the town that was near me that like basically just became a place that really wasn't safe to go. They didn't have one. So um, I'd seen the website a couple times. I know I'd seen people review products and they were like interesting to me, but I didn't have any idea how much I'd fall in love with the scents I got to try. So thank you to Donnie and thank you to T Marie for allowing me to try these products. I really appreciate you girls so much. Um, ladies, whatever, <laughs> and if, or, uh, be rude. But um, basically all I'm gonna do in this video is quickly just share my thoughts on what I got to try and like start a conversation with you all. Have you tried Lush? Are you interested in Lush? Um, I did come up with a little wish list, like I said, in the spirit of what we're doing now, so that next time I hear um, one of them or one of you guys talk about a sale, I can look for some of these products. Um, and you know, I've done a little research, not a ton on the brand. It's all homemade or homemade doesn't sound right, but like freshly made. So is, this isn't product that's sitting um, on a shelf for very long. So that is definitely something to consider because you're going to have small fresh batches, but you're not going to have a lot of stock. So, um, you know, the price point, we're going to talk about all of that. So let's talk about the products I have got to try. So I pulled one of the bath bombs and I actually did get to try one bath bomb so far. Um, like I said, T Marie, she sent me five and they smell amazing. Now, these are very interesting because I have tried a bath bomb, um, you know, a Walmart one or maybe even a Bath and Body Works one, like Dollar Tree probably. And they're not as moisturizing as these. So the ingredients that are in these are very moisturizing. I don't I don't have a ingredient analysis with you, but this is a super cute little, I, I mean, he looks like a veggie tail snowman to me, but I decided I was gonna share in a self-care Sunday this particular bath bomb because I was able to use, I'm gonna insert pictures of anything I don't have, cause again, I've used it up, so I don't have any more. Um, the, all I want for Christmas is a hippopotamus and I broke him up and used a couple in a foot bath and I thought that was really nice. I do have a bathtub, but it's smaller, but we actually have a future plan to go to a place that has a jacuzzi. So a, a jacuzzi tub, didn't know that was so hard to say. So it's nice, bigger. So I'll be able to throw one of the bigger bath bombs in there and talk about that experience. But I did get to use one. And since it was a smaller space I was using it in, I used up little chunks of the bar. But man, I really could tell from the experience, it wasn't just the scent, it wasn't just that it made bubbles, it was very moisturizing. This one smells so good too. Um, you know, it has a very sweet, almost like Sugar Plum Fairy scent to me with a little bit more of a powdery fresh, but uh, this one's so cute. And like I said, the Bat Palms range, um, they were like six to $10. So like $5.95 and $9.95, probably depending on size. You know, is it more intricate to make? They have a lot of really cute stuff up for Valentine's Day right now, but I have not made any purchases because I'm trying to be on a low buy. But overall, these were super impressive on the first one I tried. Um, and then, like I said, when I get down to my little like wish list, there's a few bath bombs on there I'd like to try, but I'm really, really excited I get to try these and experience them. These I do recommend because again, you're gonna run into that price point anywhere. And these have some really nice ingredients. And like I said, the scent was really, a nice experience, especially since I had it in a foot bath, which is quite farther away than I would have in a bathtub. But yeah, cuteness factor is a 10 and the price isn't too bad on those. Okay, so the first products I got to try 
were um, this Snow Fairy Body Spray and this Watermelon Sugar Lip Scrub. Now, I will say these weren't the original products that Dawn wanted to send me, but I did end up getting those as well. And with this, I got to try a sample of their this is how we roll is like a cinnamon scrub and that was really nice um it was very like heavy for a scrub so it was hard to use because um it came in a little container like this and i remember the first time i used it i just used it as like a hand scrub and i really liked it but there you know and it wasn't enough to use for like a body scrub because these are pretty small little containers um but the next time it was quite like pc it almost really felt like authentic dough so how do you guys use that product? It was like a face or body scrub, but it was just like a little dollop of it. Like I didn't quite know what was, the, I didn't want to put it on my face because it was scented. So if you guys have had that product, do you like that kind of product? Maybe not that scent, but let me tell you the scent. When I opened the little, it was a sample. It smelled so good. And when it looked like food and it smelled like food, I had to tell adult Tisha like, she had to quiet down kid tissues like take a bite take a bite it was so like you could smell butter and sugar and cinnamon it was so good and i was like this is for my face it was crazy to me so what i really do enjoy about lush is that it's not just a body fragrance company they have a lot of like homemade authenticity to their formulas so with Snow Fairy, this is basically your sweet cotton candy scent. Um, so with a gift card, I was able to purchase this. I love the bottle. It's just very different. I have nothing like this in my collection. Um, and it does tell me that it's good until October 15th, 2025. Now, all of the products tell you who made them. It gives you like your, you know, all that information. And then this says use by 1226, 2022. So I have, like, I was going to bring it out, but I didn't. But I have, like, a Wet n' Wild scrub. I bought a year ago, and it says on there that it's good for, like, three more years. So this is very fresh to me if it's only good for a year, basically. Um, but this is basically um, really good. It was, so I have to use this in a different way than most people. Again, I'm being really honest with you all. Um, probably just because I... So let's talk about this lip scrub first and then we'll get into the, sh the Snow Fairy products because I have some more of those. So this came with my body spray and this is a lip scrub. The ingredients are castor sugar, organic jojoba oil, and oh man, it's so small, maple butter. It's very like just natural ingredients. I mean, this is what most lip scrubs are made of, but let me show you the inside. It's like all sugar. So in most lip scrubs I've tried, it has a balm base to it. Um, so when you pull some of it out, like it still has what feels like a lip mask or a lip balm in it. But this is just straight up the raw like castor sugar with it. It's very flavored. Like I said, the Lush products tell Kid Tisha, you know, like my sub, whatever. Go ahead and take a take a taste. And so I have, like I've licked my lip. So I always say I have to do two little pads. So you can just take your finger in here and grab some and that's plenty. Like that's enough to do your lips. And I swear I have to do that twice and most adults would probably have to do it once because um, I'm just gonna do a little bit for you guys. But you work that sugar all the way around your lips. And like I said, I'm doing this with a mask on or something. This will be very, see, then I do that. You see what I just did? I didn't mean to do that on camera. But the watermelon sugar just tells my brain to lick it. So I don't know if that's safe. If, you know, you're a grown-up and you can handle, um, you know, being not being like that, then that's probably good. But this really, really exfoliates your lips. I go in with a balm after because I almost over exfoliate. I don't want you to sound negative, but I like the experience so much. I'm doing that forever. And then also I'm like, hmm, I really did a good job. But I'm telling you, in these winter months, I can wear any kind of lipstick and I feel like my lips are smoother. So this is like a definite recommend. Now, if you already have a lip scrub that you love, I also will tell you, I use the Laneige sleeping mask every night. I always have forever. Um, I mean, there may be like twice a year I forget to put it on, but this really does make my lips feel nice. So I really recommend this. And this is a product I don't hear a lot of people talk about. I feel like I hear more people talk about the shower gels, the bath bombs. This was just the on accident because I got to pick a product and I didn't know what I was picking and it said watermelon so I bought it but it was really nice okay so then we're going to do the other little product so again I got to try that this is how we roll scrub it was very scrubby 
but it was also very like PC. So I wasn't quite sure how people would recommend to use that. I really enjoyed this. I really enjoyed the bath bombs. This is a little sample of the lotion in Pansy and this smells so amazing and it's very thick. You can see I've used some of it up. Um, I wanted to make this video quick before I used it all. I really enjoy this. So are there certain scents you guys like in the body lotion? Because I can see myself grabbing one if I do make a future purchase. Okay, so this is a fun spray. Um, let me just see if I can show you on camera the spray. There you go. It comes out very strong and it smells so good. So this is their little Snow Fairy Cotton Candy Body Mist. Um, again, this I think I would buy on a sale. It's a little pricey outside of a sale, I think anyone would say, but this was because I was given a gift card and I was like, what do I buy? So I really enjoy this scent. There are so many more scents I would like to try, but since it's a small batch, small amount of scents, it doesn't have a hundred scents out at one time like Bath and Body Works. So you're not gonna get as many sales, but like I said, this is a one spritz product and I know I will smell this scent for leaps and bounds longer than my Bath and Body Works sprays. You can tell the concentrate in here is quite a bit more potent, so you don't need as much spray. So I really enjoy that. I don't know why I would buy it in every scent, but as we all know, I'm a cotton candy fan. Uh, this definitely has to go up there. And I, that didn't make my cotton candy list. Like, I can't believe I like forgot that. I was like working on this video separately, so I guess in my brain I just had this like separate, but this should have definitely been in my cotton candy sponge sugar scents because it's very good and very strong. So I think it's more of a Christmas scent that they come out with. I know I've heard of this before, but it is quite good. Okay, so let's talk about the shower gel. This is the Snow Fairy um, shower gel. It says little, uh, little cotton candy bubbles that sparkle with magic. It's super cute. I really like this. Now, this is a, a smaller size, but I promise you, I have used this for over a week. Look how much I've used. I need the smallest drop and this lathers up like crazy. So I don't know what they use in their products, you guys. I'm telling you though, like when you're looking at the cost difference between a Bath & Body Works product and this, I go through an entire bottle of Bath & Body Works shower gel in a week. I really can because I spritz a lot on, spritz, I squirt a lot on my loofah because I want the action that this gives. This bubbled up my whole body, like neck to toe. I wish I were kidding you. And it smelled like cotton candy. It's amazing. So this is a recommend. Like I said, I know this scent isn't something that you can get, but I'm assuming because the formulas are the same that any shower gel and a scent that you could get, this is going to last me forever. I really mean it. Like I could see myself being able to use this for over a month, this little guy. But if I were to use as much of this shower gel as I do Bath & Body Works, I would be probably making myself sick because it's very strong. Okay, so the last product is the most exciting product and this was handpicked for me by Dawn. Thank you, Dawn, this is really cool to have. So this is the Fairy Dust Dusting Powder. All you need is a little luster and it's cotton candy scented. And I was like, oh, this is super cute. Um, I didn't quite know what I was gonna do with it. Like I was, I was gonna add it to like, you know, in the summer, you have a little bit more skin exposed. Not me, I'm like a 1900s like, like school marm. <laughs> I've got usually like a scarf on at work until I start sweating all the way down. Like I don't show skin in the summer, but this would be really pretty to just like highlight different areas, like your shoulders if you show down here. But she had sent me a message that said, you can use this like dry shampoo and it works, you guys. I've been trying to wash my hair less. Like it's, I've grown it for a little bit, but um, like I didn't even wash it today. So if we're we're looking at my hair and it's like not, not having its best life, but it is. So I just use a little bit of this. I put a little in my hands and mix them together. And then I just run it through like you would dry shampoo. And like, I do not feel like you can, you look at my hair and see oil. And this is like day two and a half hair. Yeah, I definitely took a shower two nights ago. I'm gonna take one tonight, but I don't go four or five days. I don't know how y'all get there. I have friends that are like stylists, never look flawed. And she's like, I haven't washed my hair in like six days. I'm like, I would look crazy. I would look like Miss Trunchbull if I try to do more than two days with this hair. So this is fun. And I don't know if it comes out in different scents, but if you're looking for something fun, but it has a really good purpose. I like this better than dry shampoo because it leaves no cast, but it's absorbing oil because it does have that powder in it. So that was somehow between the bath bombs and this, my favorite product. But 
I really do have a lot of high hopes for this. If this lasts as long as I think it's going to, I would see myself grabbing more. This is just a 3.3 ounce bottle, but I've almost gone through a full pink watermelon and I had this in the shower the same amount of time. Pink watermelon shower gel from Sass. So do with that as you will. Like I said, this is 10 bucks. That's $13.50. We never pay that, but if it's going to last me a week for that and a month for this, I, I think I understand. So my overall thoughts are there's not as many products. It's very much more like curated to probably what people are looking for. I know it's a lot more like self-sustainable products and a little bit more natural products. Um, I know that they do, they're very conscious of their packaging um, and they do make their products in small batches, which I just think is really interesting. Um, their ingredients are a lot more fresh. So again, not something we're gonna buy as much as we buy in our body, Bath and Body Works body care and have it sitting there for several years. You wanna buy the amount that you know you could use up in that amount of time because these products have an expiration date. Um, and, and thinking about the price, um, I think the price is okay. I, again, it's one of those things where they can justify the price because the quality is there. Does that make sense? Like you can charge me a little bit more money if I am not gonna be able to complain about the quality. If every time I get a shower gel this size, it lasts me a month, I'm not gonna complain about $10. I want to look at the size and go, there's no way, but this is a very potent product. So again, I just needed a little bit and it lathered this whole girl up. So, you know, that's all I have to say about that. So I wanted to quickly end this video, not quickly, cause I have rambled on and on here for a while, but there are a few products when I was looking online, I think a few of you have recommended these that I want your thoughts on. So let me know. Um, I think right now all of these are on the website cause I did a check recently. Um, when I mess with my hair, then I just keep messing with my hair. So the Butterball Bath Bomb. I know that was recommended by one of you guys and I heard it was like super duper moisturizing. Um, is that one you could break up and use in multiple ways? Cause I really enjoy when I talk about my self care Sunday, I am bringing that video, but it's not gonna be like me in the shower. Cause no, <laughs> no, but I do have some tips on things you can do to like multitask and make sure that you're not skipping your self care. And I'm really excited. I've been working on that video very hard. So one of the things, like I said, for me is my feet. I really do like a treat of going to get a pedicure, but like on those, I don't do it all the time. So on the weeks I don't go, this is, I do have like a routine of things I do. And that Butterball bath bomb just sounds like it'd be nice, but I don't need a whole bath bomb for just my feet. So is it something that you could use in multiple pieces? Um, the Comforter bath bubble bar, the bubble bars and the shampoo bars, I'm, I, I'm super curious about. So I have a lot of hair but I use a lot of products. So how does that shampoo bar thing work? Um, you know, my hair's thinning, so I'm trying to wash it less, but I also don't want my hair to look oily and dirty. So do any of you guys recommend those bars, the bubble bar or the shower bar? And like, what's the best way to use it? What do you need to use it? Like, I know the bubble bar, once you've used it and you put it in water, like what, how do you like store it between uses? And then I have to have this because you guys know I am a pop culture nerd, but the, the scent notes sounded awesome. The Honey I Wash the Kids shower gel or shampoo bar. Does anyone recommend that? Because I absolutely love honey. So I thought that sounded really good. So again, I'm still pretty novice to the whole Lush scene, but I really enjoyed the products that were handpicked for me and they were real like, like stars. I really, I don't have, besides that one little sample, I didn't, I was really not understanding how to use that hand and face, or no, it was face and body like scrub, but it wasn't a scrub. Everything else has been easy to use and given me really good results. So I'm very happy that I got to try the brand and I've been looking out for a sale, but um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and leaving me any comments down below about your experience with Lush, what kind of sales to look for that are the best ones. There's a whole community out here, just like the Bath and Body Works people like me that know everything there is to know and I need to hear from you. So let me know down below what I need to try because yeah, I, I'm kind of, kind of curious. And like I said, with this being a low by year for me, there are going to be months I haul more than others. So right now it's a wish list season, but there's going to be times I want to buy. So let me know what I should be looking for. All right, guys, thank you so much. And I will see you in a video very soon. And a special thank you to Dawn and T. Marie for allowing me to try these products. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, all right, guys, see you in another video soon. Bye.